Hey guys and gals, welcome back to another Captain Cuz 6951 video. When I first joined this community, uh, one of the few videos I started watching was this uh, dedication build to Mr. Jim Stein. I wanted to jump on board, uh, uh, but the only problem was I wasn't going to do it in a scale that everyone else was doing because all the rest of my military vehicles are built in 172nd scale. So I looked around for the best deal uh, as far as getting the correct kit, so on and so forth, and I wound up with this Airfix kit, which involves a tractor, a dolly, and the gun. Um, it doesn't have very much detail, uh, but I did the best I could with it. Uh, before I show you the finale of this, I want to show you how I built the scene that this will be sitting in when it is uh totally together and you'll see that at the end uh, and please watch to the end because there are some there is a slideshow that's going on back there uh, with all that being said let's get on with the video talk to you guys in a little bit bye for now rest in peace mr stein all right guys the next thing i'm going to do is going to start adding some color and this is a uh, woodland scenics and it is fine turf and also, we're going to use some coarse turf. And this is going to be the first color that we're going to put down. And we're not going to change too much from the green. Uh, just the textures is basically what I'm trying to say. Uh, and I, I always use the same method as just using a spoon to sprinkle it on. This... Something just fell. <laughs> I don't know what it was. Anyhow, um... I am going to apply the adhesive in a different manner. After this is all scenic, I will spray it with uh, water and alcohol, and then I will uh, hit it with glue on top of that, and that will secure everything. So, let's go ahead and put some of this down. This is the fine turf I'm going to start with, and I don't want to put too much, just, just enough to give it some, some color here and there. Now, of course, I'm going to put some bushes down. I'll put some trees in here and some other stuff. So it'll it'll look pretty good as a display. After this is on, I will get the uh, static grass equipment and we'll do the static grass. All right, that's the fine turf. Hit it with a little bit of this coarse turf also. That'll give it some uh, texture and some dimension. You guys can see that. All right, that'll be good for that. Starting to shape up, I would think. Uh, we're going to get some... Um, burnt grass, some green grass, and some other colors to put in there. Uh, and then uh, I will do the final covering with glue and alcohol and water and stuff. So stay tuned, and I will be back in a few minutes. All right, guys, we're going to add a little bit of different color now. This is burnt grass, and this is a different company. This is JTT. And we're also going to add some blended turf. Uh, which is a, a wooden phoenix. Boy, I need barely enough <laughs> to do this project. Not going to need too much. I just want to give it just a little bit more color. All right, that's enough for that color. Now a little bit is blended turf, which is another color. Remember, the earth is not just one color. It's various colors. Just want a little bit to 
give it some other texture. All right. All right. So right now, uh, I got to put some bushes in there. And these are going to be foliage clusters, medium green. And I'm just going to add a few of these, not very much. Just want to give it some depth, some height. And of course, I'll try and get them as close to scale as I possibly could. Get over there. You. Again, we're not going to put too many of these, just, just enough to give some more texture. <clears throat> and we'll put a couple on this side. Now, when these uh, get installed, they will also just get a spritz of <clears throat> uh, water and alcohol. The alcohol breaks the surface tension of the glue and uh, makes, it, makes it nice and uh, secure once you get it down there. All right, so that would be our next step is to get these guys all secured and then the final step will be all the little other details that I'm going to put on there. I will put, be putting a couple of trees, a couple of telephone poles and so, so on and so forth. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to go ahead and finish this and I'll bring you back when it's done. I'll be back in a little bit. All right, guys, what we're going to do next once this is all the way I want it for now, uh, we're just going to go ahead and spray this all up with uh, alcohol and water, which is in this bottle right here. Uh, and I got it inside this uh, this cover because usually I would do this outside or in a, in a better area where I don't have to worry about getting stuff messed all over the place. Anyhow, we're going to go ahead and spray this. And this is also going to give me the uh, base I need for the um, uh, static grass, sorry. <laughs> uh, now what I'm gonna do with this, is this is white glue, whatever you guys use in place of white glue uh, and water, 50-50 mix. And I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh, I think, <laughs> oh, I see, I didn't cut the tip off. This is a brand new deal. I gotta cut the tip off. There we go. All right. Now I'm just going to, oops, don't matter, just put it on there, that will secure everything down to the base, and by the way, I did change the base, I'm um, using uh, what we call, um, uh, I'm sorry for the loss of words today, masonite, there you go, <laughs> hardboard. Hardboard and masonite. Now, right here, I got my pin sticking in there for my static grass. So, now that that's all wet, the static grass will work, and now we'll start putting some of that down. So, here's my static grass, and it is uh, a product of the uh, UK. And uh, we'll fill up the hopper with some static grass. I don't know what size I'm going to be using, whatever is available. Uh, I believe that's static. Yeah, we'll use this to start with. So I'll just go ahead and fill up the hopper. If I can get the stupid bag open. There we go. And I'll just go ahead and... Maybe. <laughs> there you go. Come on. That should be enough for now. Oops. As you guys can see. All right. Let's move this back here. Let's put the cover on here. All right. Let's see if this is all going to work. This might not work as easily as I want it to with my hole go. <laughs> no. Sorry guys. 
All right, let me, uh, let me put another hole in there and we'll be right back. All right, guys, that is the first color of the static grass I'm going to be putting on there. I'm going to do a different color also. I'm going to put a lighter a lighter color in there. So stay tuned, and I will be back, and I'll show you what this is going to look like. I'll drill some holes for some trees and telephone poles, and we'll see what this is going to look like. So stay tuned. We'll be back in a few. All right, guys, while this is still wet, um, I go out in my backyard and I pick up all these little twigs um, from thanks to my uh, neighbor's tree. And I'll just break some of these off and just lay them around in there just to give it a little bit of uh, something different. Oops, come back at you. And a couple in the front here. That's all we're going to put there for that. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I have a couple of these pine trees that I'm going to put up in there. They are kind of like a dark uh, olive green color. Um, I bought these uh, through Etsy, I think. So anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and drill a few holes and put these trees in. I might get a couple more, maybe a couple of shorter ones if I have a couple of shorter ones. And we'll integrate those. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. All right, guys, as you can see, I have uh, most of this little scene completed. I decided to use these trees uh, rather than these trees because uh, these just have a wire base down there, whereas these ones actually have a trunk. And I think it looks a lot better that way. Anyhow, um, I'm going to... Uh, uh, full white gre white glue to plant all of these and I got a couple of utility poles up here Same thing. I'll just use full full strength white glue to put those in there. This will be complete Then I will show you why I built all of this So stay tuned and we will be back in a minute All right, guys, the reason why I built that little vignette or whatever you want to call it, little display is for this guy right here and his mating partner that you'll see next. Anyhow, I did go ahead and put all the decals that I could. I did mess up the one on the roof here uh, when I was taking it off the uh, backing. It kind of broke right here in the front. Uh, I kind of salvaged it. Uh, it, it looks okay. Um, I did not fill in... Uh, the seam here because the texture on this looks like it might be a tarp uh, so that might be removable anyhow we'll move around to the front and I did apply all the decals up here on the hood as per the instructions on the front fenders the headlights I put a little silver paint on the inside there I did build this bumper like I told you guys I would do that and when I was building this part of the model um, again, uh, I hit this with that uh, dark gray weathering powder that I have, and then put a little bit of rust here and there just to give it a little bit of uh, a little bit of a character and whatever. Uh, again, I didn't fill in any of these seams here because these are toolboxes that I feel that were either just laid on there and bolted or whatever. Um, <laughs> spare tire, all the wheels were hand painted by me. Uh, decals back here. I still did not find the matching piece for this side right here. I don't understand where it could have went. My living room floor is a hardwood floor. I should be able to see it, but I can't. I don't see it. Anyhow, moving around to this side. Uh, as you remember, I did have a happy 
mistake down here on the bottom with the suspension. Here's the exhaust system. Uh, so yeah, this was a pretty easy kit to put together. Uh, I wish it would have had more detail, like uh, the bigger scales do, but I have to deal with this. Now, it did not get any, any acetate for here, but I do have some that I eventually will put in there. Anyhow, stay tuned for the next part of this, and that'll be the gun, and then I'm going to finally put this out on the vignette and see what it all looks like together. Stay tuned, we'll be back in a few minutes. All right, guys, once I finished the tractor, um, I moved on to the gun and the uh, dolly or trailer or whatever you want to call it. Um, the gun is, is permanently in that position because um, I did glue this guy in on the axle because it's the only way it would stay in place. If I didn't glue that, I'd be able to remove the gun or turn the gun around or whatever. Uh, the elevation on the gun does work, but again, I don't want to move it because I might break this piece. Uh, I did hit it, the entire thing, with um, a black, uh, no, not a black, a dark weathering powder that I have. Uh, and then I also hit it with some rust powder, uh, like down here on the tow hitch, uh, on some of the suspension you could see there. Uh, I did paint the seats in gunmetal. And I painted the barrel in black metallic. The wheels are all hand painted by me. I didn't know we can, I can get masked for this. So anyhow, uh, in a few minutes, I'm gonna put this all together and put it on that little scene that I built and I'll show you what that's gonna look like. So stay tuned and we will be back in a few minutes. All right, guys and gals. These guys got orders to pull over somewhere in the countryside uh, cause they heard there's some enemy aircraft uh, lurking about so they are getting ready to see what's going on we have a lookout uh, looking in the sky to see if he sees any aircraft and we have the other guy uh, he's kind of carrying some shells getting ready to load the gun up and yeah let's take a 360 of this uh, little vignette we have going on here uh, I may add more to it later on I don't know I may wire up the uh, telephone poles or utility poles whatever you want to call them uh, and uh, maybe add some other ground cover and uh, debris and stuff like that. So yeah, let's take a look at 360 here. This was a fun build. I had fun doing it. Like I said, I just wish there was more detail for it. Um, I never really looked to see if there is, but maybe I will. And uh, hopefully I'll get lucky and find some. Uh, unfortunately, I think... Um, that the hand cranks for the gun are a little bit overscaled. Uh, and the reason why I say that is because I could not get... Well, let me get this around here so you guys can see that. I could not get the operator on this side because the handle is just way too big. And also, I could not get the driver in the vehicle in there because his legs were too long. I may cut them down. I don't know. He is painted. So are the other two guys painted. I uh, did my best. I'm still waiting for the flesh color paint to get here. It's taking forever to get here. Anyhow, I hope you guys and gals enjoyed this video. And as always, your questions, comments, inputs, subs, shares, and likes are always welcome. For now, that's all, folks. Captain Cuz 6951, out for now. Rest in peace, Mr. Jim Stein.